Hi, I'm Ju Thieu, obstetrician, gynecologist, fertility surgeon and doctor in Perth, Australia. It's Sunday morning in Perth. I'm doing a few videos. It has been a while since I released my last video. Um, I remember I, I released a video on a, the technique of embryo transfer and also ultrasound scan. And I received a comment saying, um, you know, my fertility doctor, my fertility specialist can't or couldn't uh, put a catheter in to put the embryos inside the womb. What she described sounds like a um, extremely difficult embryo transfer for me. Just like any procedure, they are always the easiest case, which I believe ultrasound scan is still beneficial. It's more precise and gentle. And uh, you, the cases can range from very easy to extremely difficult. And you always remember those extremely difficult cases. Um, I remember I had two for the past couple of years. Um, thankfully, they're both pregnant now. One of them, I just delivered the baby a few months ago. The other one, um, initially I looked after the pregnancy. After that, the couple had to move interstate. Um, and uh, thus, you know, but I did hear that they delivered a healthy baby, which is amazing, um, over East. So uh, those extremely difficult cases, basically what it means usually the cervix is um, very tight. They probably will be bent and uh, thus it's very hard to pass a catheter in. So basically you want to put, it's like a little straw, you want to put in the, you know, through the cervix into the womb. Um, basically um, what we aim for is uh, not too tight and the, um, and the, the path, the channel is not too bent. Imagine some of them even S shape up and down or some to really bend to the front all the way to the back or um, at the front or and uh, backwards. So really curved uterus um, make them, will make it a bit difficult. What we do in this instance, um, you can try. Number one, you definitely, definitely need to use ultrasound scan in those cases. Otherwise, you have no idea at all where this um, embryo goes in. So um, you really need to have experienced doctors to um, perform the procedure and um, they are used, they must be used to um, using ultrasound scan. Often for those cases, you need two specialists or two doctors at least to a to put the you know one doing scan directing the person doing it and both basically you need a very good scanner person doing the scan and uh, to direct where to put these embryos in often in those patients sometimes it's so difficult so a bit more uncomfortable they might need to go under sedation or anesthetics to have those embryos put in um, replaced back for those patients, sometimes even beforehand, we do a cervical dilatation. The aim is basically um, to, you know, like before even doing the embryo transfers, you bring them to theater to, um, to open up the cervix a little bit, and then you put a scope in, hysteroscopy, to make sure you're in the right place. And also you record the person, um, ideally, the person doing the procedure, the hysteroscopy or cervical dilatation would do the transfers in the future as well because you learn where the direction, sometimes you need to learn where the direction of the tight channel goes. So in the future, you know where to aim, um, etc. Now for those patients, when during the time when doing transfers, you need to have a, a full bladder as well. Again, I mentioned before, full bladder helps you to see like a window to see where the uterus is. And also the full bladder push the uterus. If the uterus is anti-verted, flex to the front, then the full bladder will help you to push the, the, the uterus to become straighter. So, um, you know, it's always imagine the straw, you want to pass the straw into the small little channel, the channel. Um, and uh, it, it's easier when it's straight rather than really bent. So you do what you can and with experience um, hands, um, two doctors or two specialists often, um, then, you know, there's possibilities. Um, the embryo might um, or may go into the right place gently in the perfect place. 
and hopefully with a good technique everything goes well and manage to conceive just like my two very difficult patients for the last couple of years so yeah you as mentioned you remember those cases because they're really hard i'll say look embryo transfer of the year um and uh, but you know with the experience has they can get pregnant okay that's it for this video i'm doing another video right now on miscarriage bye